Yep, there's our uh, DMCA copyright right there. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Don't make children angry. From Activision and Neversoft. Oh, I'd play Jimmy Bond's pro skater. Yes. We needed to make a, a James Bond skateboarding game. Thanks. Yes. Got gadgets. Peak Zanzibar. It's a very high society. Sparrow. Ooh. This is urgent. Priority one. We fear the attack may be imminent. How long until you're on the ground? We should be down in ten minutes. We haven't got ten minutes. The satellite is picking up suspicious activity near Greco's boat. You've got to get a move on now. I'm on my way. Change of plans. Head for the harbor. You can tell this is a 007 game because they could afford Daniel Craig, Judy Dench, and According basically no one else. They couldn't afford hair for Judy Dench, though. Oh, that's some Xbox 360 mission. hair. Mm -hmm. for the attack to coincide with the moment they take the group photograph. I can't much care what your sources tell you, Em. We've checked Greco out. He is an Look at all those medals. This guy's very vacation. distinguished. His business, mm -hmm. sir. I don't think he has a name. I believe in the credits he's just listed as General. Like to see oh, yeah. heads of state, all the members of the G20, wiped out in one fell swoop. Is that what your sources are telling you? Or is it your female intuition? I'll thank you to keep my intuition out of this, General. Oh! It's hard to tell if she has now. teeth. Impossible. You have to have some faith, some trust in my ability to protect them. Thanks for defining what faith is. Yes. You can keep your faith. I put my trust in Bond. That is pretty good. Who is she talking to? She's talking to her bank. God. Whoa, it's his face. It's the man himself. Oh, yeah. That's right, Tony Hawk. Yeah. Hey, kid. He's tired of people uh, not knowing who he is on airplanes, so he just jumps out of them. <laughs> oh! <laughs> he didn't hear that oh, parachute God. opening? Just... I'm in position. Good luck, W7. Well, hi there. I'm Fenwa. I'm Lobs. I'm Demo Weasel. And uh, welcome to 007 Bloodstone for the PlayStation 3 system. I don't remember this game, but I do at the same time. Bond, this is Tanner at Q Branch. Hostile radio chatter shows your landing has gone undetected. Well, it's it's Blue funny you should mention why you don't remember this game. You don't remember this game because it came out on the same Find day as Goldeneye 007 for the Nintendo Wii. One week before Call of Duty Black Ops, mm -hmm. one week after Tony Hawk Shred, and five months after Bizarre Creations Blur. I hope you're all looking forward to playthroughs of all those games. Just so you know, we're covering uh, the same release schedule, just sort of radiating outward. That's yeah, right. we're, we're going to do GoldenEye for Wii again, just to spite all of you. Only Activision games from now on. Also, oh. it's true. Uh, we're playing the game on normal, by the way, uh, which doesn't really change any of the objectives. There aren't um, bonus objectives on hard difficulties the way there were in uh, the original GoldenEye game. Mm. Uh, and I can't remember if GoldenEye for the Wii had those. I think, uh, it, I think it did. Yeah, it did. Sorry, it's been a while. Don't worry. Greco will take care of it. In the meantime, I want to get back to the news. Make sure everything... See, how many, of, how many stealth games have started out on boats? Too many to count. Yes. That's because boats are little islands. They're a great way to, to establish the game rules without letting you wander away from them. Uh, boats are pretty, like, natural video game environments also, since they have uh, well-defined boundaries. Yes. Where's my helicopter? Where are my boats? Oh, are, are, is it forcing you to walk there? Can you not run? Uh, I think that I chose to walk just to allow the, the cutscene to breathe a little better. <laughs> he threw his phone at Bond. Yeah, you can tell this is Daniel Craig Bond because he roughs people up. Attack, mm. Greco. It's over. One man against forty. I don't think so. Guts. That's two. They can only afford to draw two at once. Yeah, they can. <laughs> you would have been dead for real. Mm -hmm. Bad Bond. You should, uh, while you're editing this video, anytime you do something stupid, just have bad bond and big ol' words on the screen. Uh, so the, uh, the sharp instrument, uh, trophy that popped there was just for doing a focus kill, uh, right after doing a takedown, which we'll do a lot in this game. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
the the focus kills are I guess kind of broken in the sense that they're a one hit kill, mm -hmm. though it is one bullet per focus effectively. So if you have three focus uh, that. things, that just means you can do three shots. No. The bigger one. Is it like uh, it's not infinitely uh, exploitable like the stabbings in Turok? Right. Uh, though this game does just have a melee button, so I can also just mash that if things get hairy. Mm. Can you do combos? Uh, there are multiple animations, if that's what you mean, and no. we can just sort of keep mashing it. I'm sorry, I'm just looking at these graphics and just, like, wondering what it was, what it was like before. And I'm, I realized I mentioned this during the Wheelman playthrough as well. Mm -hmm. Um... But I'm just wondering what it was like before we were all sick of this tint, this, like, overlay over the graphics. The fact that everything is, like, this washed-out, uh, pale, I suppose. It looks like, uh, all of the scenes, uh, from traffic that take place in Mexico. Oh yeah, no. This was my uh, my my fifth playthrough of this game. Um, Jesus. Part of that was due to uh, to incompetence, but it was also just because I was trying to figure out how to get the brightness level to be something that looked okay. Hmm. Were you gonna ask why that boat was floating? Yes. <laughs> oh, because it, 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 it looked unnatural. A, uh, yes, it, it did. Hit a thing in the water. You hit a wave. Oh shit! Physics. Look at all this okay. excitement. Welcome back to Half Life Two. Yeah, it does kind of look like the canal. Uh, I also, I'm not controlling that uh, that slow motion. That is just something that happens. Oh, really? It's cinematic yeah. because this is a movie. What? It's because it's an Activision game, and so there has to be a breach mode or whatever. Are you controlling the boat at least? Yeah, no, I'm piloting the boat. Oh, okay. Uh, down the amusement park uh, railing. Whoa! Crash into the wall. Oh my god. What was in there? Fireworks. Explosives. Mm. Illegal explosives. Ah. He's dead. We've wasted enough time. Get moving. Ah, he's sure of it. We'll recover his body later. But then Bond come around corner. Greco! Over there! Damn! Stay behind and stop him! It's ruining my immersion with the loading on the bottom right. That doesn't happen in movies. Yeah, I, I briefly considered just putting a black bar over the pause and skip that appears for the entire cutscene, every cutscene. Mm, no, you shouldn't, because people no. <laughs> should know Honestly, that that it's, exists. It's useful. I wish Blu-rays had that. Skip scene. Pause and skip. Yeah, just the notion of, yeah, I'm done with this scene. <laughs> <laughs> if only there was something that would let me know what the things on my remote do. <laughs> Thankfully, he was dazed by those bullets <laughs> enough yeah, for you seriously. to... Yeah, that, that kind of ends up just being the way that I engage with enemies a lot of the times, is just shoot from the hip and then close in and punch them. All right, so uh, game mechanism so far here, is this just a sort of standard third-person shooter? Yeah, cover it's a, a cover-based third-person shooter with, uh, with a focus aim element. Mm. Uh, what gets you those, those focus aims? Uh, doing melee kills earns you a focus, okay. which you then spend by using bullets. Mm. What happens if you try to shoot a civilian? I don't think you can. Oh. I, I honestly never tried. Oh, uh, look, oh. it's got a grenade pointer router. See, the thing is, it's not that the game plays badly. I mean, Bizarre Creations did do the club prior to this, which was another third-person shooter. So it's not that they don't know how to make these games. No, no, no. I mean... This looks, this certainly looks like it's, uh, more sort of work went into this in the realm of third-person cover-based shooters than went into Wheelman, mm -hmm. uh, in the terms of open-world action game. Right. I mean, this game is, uh, this game already has you doing, like, multiple things. Yeah. <laughs> over the course of a very short amount of time. Yes. Oh yeah, no, we've already hit more locales in this game than we did in the entirety of Wheelman. Mm-hmm. I 
was hoping him to like bumble down the stairs some more. But I take a moment to blow up that car because I, I know that there's an achievement for blowing up every car in that parking lot, uh, not realizing that I missed a different car, so whoops. Great. Well, yeah, one of many trophies I didn't earn. Oh, how did he not see that? Where's the bomb, Greco? That guy got his idea from uh, watching Bart smash the chair over Homer's head too much. He's a fan of memes. Yeah, which means he's probably insufferable. Last chance. Where is it? You're too late. Run him over. Shit. So the uh, the vehicles in this game are all real vehicles. In this case, uh, the Aston Martin DBS with the license plate 72GH3LD uh, is the exact same car that um, James Bond has in Quantum of Solace, which came out two years prior to this game. Ah, they acquired vehicle likeness rights. That's right. Wasn't there a Quantum of Solace video game? Oh gosh. Uh, I like there was there was no there there was a, a game that came out around the same time as Quantum of Solace, I think. Um, much like how there was another game that came out around the same time as Skyfall. Uh, no, uh, Quantum of Solace was a video game. Oh, jeez. Who made it? Eurocom? Uh, it was... For the PS3 and Xbox 360 versions, it was Treyarch. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, so also Activision. Yes, Eurocom was PS2. Right. I guess there was some sort of, like, contracts, um, transfer that happened, uh, between Activision and Electronic Arts at some point. Probably. I know that a lot of people liked the, uh, like, 007 Nightfire or whatever. Yes, the, that was EA. Yeah. Um, they were doing all sorts of weird things with the franchise back then. With, um, oh. Didn't they have their own sort of third-person one that uh, had, like, Willem Dafoe as the villain? Oh, I can't remember. Hmm. Did they afford Willem Dafoe? Yeah, he's Dafoe. I see. <laughs> Fireworks? Did you know there were going to be fireworks? Honestly, yes. How did you know? Quite honestly. Intuition. I like how both of the characters are staring at the uh, trophy pop in that cutscene. <laughs> yeah. Also, the, the, the people in this game... Like, it makes me realize nice just kind of sort of how large the jump is between the current generation of video games oh, and the that. previous one in terms of how they can render people effectively. Drink? Yes, I'll have a bourbon, neat. And what can I provide for the gentleman? I'll have how people actually fun. emote. How people emote and also that they're not, like, s completely smooth, like, plastic people. Yeah, uh, well, I, I think part of it is that the, a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think out. part of it is that the the people that are trying to look like real people look worse than the people that are just you know modeled by animators. Yes, it's Al Broccoli. Oh right, this is where we get our DMCA takedown, isn't it? Yeah, this, I'm pretty sure this is also what happens when you install Mac OS X for the first time. It's Ian Fleming's James Bond, and don't forget it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm sure that uh, that this cutscene is available in its entirety, uncensored, somewhere else on YouTube. Yes. Um, yes. But we're going to just keep talking over it. Uh. Um, because I, I do want to talk actually briefly about mm -hmm. a, uh, a rumor uh, that Quarterman over at EGM uh, put up uh, in around January of 2008 saying mm -hmm. that Bizarre Creations is working on a 007 game. Whoa. This rumor quickly turned into a, uh, a rumor that said that uh, instead of it being a 007 game with driving elements, that it was going to be a game called James Bond Racing mm -hmm. uh, slated for a late 2009 release before being pushed back to early 2010. Mm-hmm. The, uh, the CEO of Activision at the time said that the push to the early 2010 was to avoid a conflict with Modern Warfare 2. After seeing what happened with the Quantum of Solace game uh, coming out right around the same time as uh, Call of Duty World at War. Mm -hmm. And then something happened, I guess, and they pushed the game back to late 2010 and no one was paying attention to what other games came out the same day, the same week, and the same month as, uh, as 007 Bloodstone. And from what I can tell, the game had basically very little marketing compared to... <laughs> the game that is the remake of the game that we all grew up loving. Uh, I, I am just constantly amused by James Bond punching people into coins and diamonds here. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, that's the uh, that's the first video. Amazing. Alright, stopping this recording. I'm, uh, I'm stopping this recording and I'm saving this recording.